Hey doctors, how you guys doing today? Listen, I just saw the post that Rod just posted on the Smart MD WhatsApp group about the step two CS being canceled. What? That's some big news, yo. Listen, let's break this down a little bit because some of y'all are already freaking out. Listen, I work in the emergency department and rule number one, don't freak out. Rule number two, see rule number one. All right, it's got to be prepared. So what does this all mean that they're canceling step two CS? All right, they cancel step two CS for everybody, but U.S. medical students, IMGs, period. This is not just about IMGs, it's everyone is getting affected because of COVID-19. So what does this mean moving forward? Well, let's think about the clinical skills exam for a minute. This exam has been around for the last, God knows, 15, 20 years. And I honestly, looking back, I just think you're just making a lot of money doing this test anyway, right? You know, they have you have standardized patients, right? And you have about 10 or 12 clinical cases. You evaluate the patients, you write a note, and then you get a pass or a fail. Now, does it have its merits? Yeah, because... If you don't know how to, you know, properly evaluate a patient, then that's horrible. Like you cannot practice medicine. But let's think about it. Most doctors or most medical students, they do rotations all day, third year, fourth year. That's like lots of exposure to see patients, right? They write soap notes. They write HMPs. They get all this practice. So why does one day exam really matter to show that they already know the information? And a lot of their schools already have, medical schools already have this kind of training anyway. Now for IMGs, this might be a little bit different, right? Because they don't know what kind of training you had in your country and it's a little bit difficult. So I can understand why the CS matters. But honestly, in the grand scheme of things, right? A lot of the IMGs doctors are already practicing medicine in your country anyway. Right? You've seen patients, some of you may or may not, some of you are new grads, but a lot of people have already practiced medicine. So it's not like they don't know how to take care of patients. The only difference is how do they take care of American-based patients? But guess what? That's what residency is all about. <laughs> right? You are going to learn and you're going to see thousands of patients in residency. So in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't even freaking matter. Now, your clinical knowledge, you better know your stuff before walking in, right? <laughs> That's important, right? You got your CK knowledge, step one knowledge, we can kind of debate, uh, you know, step one, a lot of non-applicable things to test you on step one, to be honest with you, but hey, it's a screening test, there's nothing you can do, but the basic foundation of medicine, you got to know that, right? The basic knowledge is stuff. But are you ever going to use genetics like, you know, chromosome, de de you know, deletions? No, you're not going to use that in your clinical practice, never, all right? Uh, except you're doing research at like, you know, like NIH or something like that. But the truth of the matter is none of that stuff will matter. But hey, listen, you need to know them for step one. You better know them. Okay. So here's, here's my thought process on this. All right. The fact that they're counseling step two CS for the next 12 to 18 months is good news. You should be excited because they're counseling for everybody. Everybody's getting affected. So now we're down to step one and step two CK scores and step three scores. That's pretty much what it boils down to. We're back to the numbers, right? Until they just change step one to pass or fail, it's all boiled down to numbers game, right? Now, when you, as an IMG, what do you do? How do you benefit from this? Do externships in whatever um, program you want to apply. If, if you're applying for internal medicine, make sure you, you know, work on internal medicine, get doctor and you know get great letters of recommendation let them talk about your you know encounter with patients if they let you see patients you know if you're just an observership then you're just watching if you actually do a clinical rotation then you actually get to do stuff right so you know i would em employ you guys like if you can do a clinical rotation it's a little expensive and you have to pay for it but that will really let you stand out because you get to, you know that CS portion of your application that's not going to be missing because it's not part of it. Now you can have a doctor that's seen you, observed you, tested you, and can write a letter of recommendation and say, hey, listen, you know, uh, so so and so already worked with me. He had excellent patient interaction, blah, 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 blah. Okay. 
for for med students in the u.s it's probably not going to matter much right if they cancel cs they're not going to focus on it a lot of students are applying for the uh residency match only takes step one anyway so you know some of them will take step two seek if they're u.s med but i am just for sure focus on your board scores don't stress yourself because they cancel cs you should be you probably should be excited that you're not going to shed out another like 1200 1300 hours anyway and they're gonna have to figure out another objective measure, maybe some kind of virtual thing. If they're not gonna do the virtual thing, then they're gonna base it on basically a for recommendations from attending physician who see you, who kind of talk to you and kind of put a little more weight on that because it's a pandemic and we all going through this change, but it's affecting everyone in the world. So there's nothing for you to panic about other than to realize, listen, we're in strange times, but it will also pass and we're gonna all get through this. But I wouldn't stress myself, focus on what you can control know your stuff read the books master everything i taught you and you're gonna be successful see you guys later